All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Merry Christmas and heavy, heavy, happy, happy, and a lot of uh, let us say heavy snow. <laughs> a great day for us as a Christians. A blessing of the Lord, a blessing for the believers, a blessing for the world. Peace on earth for the King of Kings, the King of Peace, the Lord, the Messiah was a person who came and he is the person who came to save us uh, uh, as you see we have a dog in front of us and he is very cute uh, the news says that uh, america ban dogs uh, like the police dogs from be sent to jordan and to egypt because they send them there and they die uh, simply because islamic tradition and islamic teaching of muhammad teach that dogs are ugly and disgusting and najis which means filthy dirty so Muslims don't treat them uh, kindly. And the Muslim, they say to us that the Prophet said that the woman, she gave a little water for a dog. And uh, because of that, she, he, he was thirsty. And because of that, he, she will go to heaven. But, okay, she gave water to the dog, but yet he ordered to kill the dogs. I mean, pff, eh. you see that, I mean, the, the propaganda, they will not tell you that the Prophet, he ordered to kill the dogs. Uh, however, you know, um, as long as I mention it, I think I better show the, the reference for this. Otherwise, they will say, uh, he's lying. It's not true. You know them. I mean, even if you show the reference, they will say he's lying. So, what uh, if you don't show the reference? Imagine. Just imagine. Uh, today, our topic is about mis Islam misunderstood. So, this is not really... Uh, the topic, but because we put the picture of a dog. Let us see. I heard Allah Messenger, peace be upon him. By the way, it doesn't say peace be upon him. It says Allah pray for him and salute him. Allah pray for, not to, remember. Commanding the killing of dogs and killing uh, of this uh, the strip and etc you know like so this is the prophet teaching then when the arab they start complaining i mean dogs are very uh, they, we need them i mean those people are living in the desert they need a guardian for their animals so people they start complaining and then muhammad he adjust the order from killing all the dogs to kill only dogs who they are let us say um, not the shepherd dog you know this is how much this person he have heat to dogs and i understand this by the way because you see i can be a person who's afraid from dogs but i don't hate them you know me me, me myself i'm not really i mean you, you, you might find a dog who is uh, aggressive or etc but dogs generally speaking they are very nice you know they are the best friend for mankind but dogs they have a special sensation they can sense evil you know they can sense evil so this guy, Muhammad, he could not find one dog is friendly to him. And this is why he ordered to kill the dogs, because wherever he go, dogs go crazy. Now, we go back to our topic. This is an article, it says, Why is Islam misunderstood? And Muslim Youth Foundation. Okay, building bridges. With the community that's wonderful i like building bridges and as long you muslims you use the word bridges so let us talk about bridges you see the first misconception is that christians and muslims they believe in the same god that's absolutely false and this is many churches sadly they teach many idiots in our churches they teach that we christians and muslims we follow the god of abraham that's a big fat lie and it's very easy to debunk you know, Muhammad, he used the name of Abraham, the name of Moses, the, no, the name of Jesus, the name of Mary, the name of Joseph, the name of all those names. He used them as a bridge. As a bridge so he can be accepted. Otherwise, he don't believe in any of them. How we can prove that? Very easy. You see, if we have the same God, we should have the same heaven. The Bible says clearly that the heaven of our God, there is no sex, there's no men and women having sex and there's no 70 version for every uh, uh, one who kills somebody as a reward at least so if we have the same god we should have the same heaven heaven of islam have slaves 
to the point Muhammad he said that each Muslim will have 80,000 little boys the Quran promised us that we will have boys who they will be servant for eternity or slaves for eternity how that can be our God do we believe that our God is a filthy God Good. For, forgive me Lord for saying that word no we don't do we believe that we have a God who promised us women who we never met women who never saw us women who do not even know their names they are waiting for us in beds and they are jailed you know what I mean my friends 80,000 little boys waiting for you and those boys are so white like pearls and you know what this is mean this is God so for any false fraud self-acclaimed Christian teacher who claimed that Muslims and Christian they share the same God I say to you shame on you to say such a thing because if we have the same God we should have the same ethic because this is involved ethic only not only the heaven is different the ethic is ugly why my God will give me women and thousands of them for sex? What I did exactly, and what 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 about those women? I mean, where where is where, even God when He created Adam? He created Eve, not Eves. He did not create seventy-two versions or thousands of women for Adam, right? So how come we will go to heaven and there is women we never met and Allah He created them? And they are so white because Muhammad is speaking to the racist Arab. The racist Arab who admire only the white color. To the point he promised them that you will see the marrow of their bones. This is how white they are. Which is disgusting by the way. I mean to see a woman bones. And supposedly Muhammad he claimed that this is really a very attraction or attractive so shame on you to be a Christian teacher in a church and you teach Christians that we and Muslims believe in the same God Islam teach if you kill a person he is a Christian you go to heaven so how you say that we and the Muslim we share the same God if we go in the Quran right now as we speak you will see the Quran saying clearly fight and kill the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya so how you claim to be Christian and you say you know what we believe in the same God the same God he hate the Christians and he want to kill them hmm? this is all misconception I agree misconception is it is 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 it spread by the Muhammadan and by Christians sadly who claim to be Christians and we need to clear it for the Christians because your children they've been lied to in the churches your children they've been lied to in the school in the books of history wherever you go fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last day nor forbid what is forbidden by Allah from who from the Christians and the Jews, do you see it? So they say to you that it's misunderstanding that the Muslims are from different God. It's a misunderstanding that the Muslim worship different God. But this God, He named us to be slaughtered. Do you see it? And this is not my translation. And the only way to live, you have to pay the Muslim money. And then you can live. So do you see the misconception? Uh, David asking why many Muslim who they are educated still follow Islam depend. You see, there's there's people who they are following because they have no choice. You know, you live in a society and the price is very high if you leave, and there is a lot of people leave. Just give them freedom, like you see in the in the Kurdistan, in the in the Kurdish area in Syria and Iraq. Uh, Kurdish are left Islam long time ago. Just give them a freedom. The American came, Islam is gone. Freedom. 
and those who they are in the West, uh, like you might see some of them, they, they like act, they are more conservative, right? Because they feel like they are minority trying to protect themselves. But if you think about it, they are out of Islam already. Because the second you pay tax, the second you pay tax, the second you obey Allah, which is not Islamic law, you are not a Muslim. The Quran says it clearly in chapter 5, verse number 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends, and if you take them as a friends or a protectors, not friends only, and if you do, you became one of them. And this is the Quran. We will put it in the front of you in the screen. So if you pay tax and you live in a, Muslim, in, a, in, a in a country which is not a Christian, not a Muslim country, regardless whether it is a Christian or a Hindu, whatever it is, if you pay tax, you are not a Muslim no more. If you take the police of this country, which is not a Muslim police, your police, you are not a Muslim no more. O who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as awliya, awliya between two brackets, friends, protectors, helpers, etc. And they are but awliya to each other. So Muslims are not to take us. Look how this is the book of hate. And the, and the stupid liars they say to us in churches, sadly, they claim to be priests. That Muslims, they worship the same God. Okay, if we worship the same God, why did God forbid them to take us as a friend? Are you guys listening? I have no problem. I love the Muslims. I want to help them. I, I, I will be happy to help somebody as a Muslim. I have no problem to take all the Muslims as my friends. But their religion forbid the Muslims from taking us as a friends, as a protectors. So how those idiots in our churches, they teach you that we Christians and Muslims worship the same God. And here in example, today is December 25th, the, 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 the Christmas day. It is banned in many Islamic countries. How you say that you, you, know, you believe in Jesus as a prophet, but you forbid celebrating his birth? What does this have to do with even, let us say you don't agree with the Christianity. If Jesus is a prophet for you, and this is his birth, Okay, where is the celebrating of the birth of Jesus? A Muslim, he said that this is not the correct date. Okay, uh, uh, what about you celebrate you as a Muslim the correct date? Which date is it? it is? And you give it to us, and you, why you don't celebrate it? Because this religion is a fake cult. They use the names just as a bridge. So they can step over you and you, like, you know, if you if you are trying to defend yourself against this cult, like, okay, this cult is not believing in Jesus, etc. So I'm not going to think about it. So they use those names so they can go through into your home. But as you see, if this cult is really believe in this, in the, in the, in the, in the, in, in the same God as we do. How in the world does God, he says, take not Christian and Jews as your friends? How does God in chapter 9, verse 29 says, kill them wherever you find them, humiliate them. So misconception is all over. I agree with the Muslims. If we go back to the article, which I find it hilarious. Why Islam is misunderstood? Muslims are violent terrorists and or extremists. I agree with you. This is not true. Muslims are not violent. Islam is violent. Your prophet is violent because not every Muslim he practices Islam. The second you start practicing the true Islam, you join ISIS. So yes, it's a misconception to say Muslims are violent. Islam is violent, Muhammad is violent, Allah is violent. So they try to deceive you and they try to mix things up. We are not talking about Muslims, we are talking about Islam. Muslims are not my enemies. Misconception number two, Islam oppressed women. For sure, Islam did not oppress women. I mean, it's obvious that the man, he can have four women as if they are four chicken in his house. And the man in chapter four, verse number 34, he can beat them. I mean, who? how in the world you can say Islam oppressing women? Women, she cannot be a witness in the court. This is not oppression. Women, she cannot divorce her husband. The husband, he throw the word at her unless they made a condition before they get married, says, uh, give me the right of uh, divorce. And there's no man, they strip that. Usually they do it only if the woman is rich. So the man, he have the right to be the wife. The man, he have right to kick the out of house, uh, uh, the wife, uh, as if she is an employee. 
the man he can replace her exchange her the man he can insult her the man he can school her the man he can shout at her the man he, he can do everything the woman she can do nothing if we go in the yellow pages of Muhammad we will find the following let us see let us see what the Quran says about women huh? I mean let us see it's not it's not does not oppress, oppress women absolutely not are you kidding me no way And here, look, the translator, he added things to that text. He said, first, second, what first was second? And then they said, beat them and lightly. I mean, this is a lightly oppression. What is the word lightly, you liar? They put it between two brackets. There's no lightly. The, the story in the Hadith it says that the man, he beat his wife until her skin became greener than her clothing. And the prophet of Islam, he took the side of the man against the women and he never said to him. Actually, there's a hadith that says, لا يسأل الرجل. And the man will not be questions about why and how he did beat his wife. Do you believe it? A man will not be asked as why he beat his wife. Nobody should ask him, which means you cannot call the police. If you are a woman who live in the Middle East and your husband is, is beating you right now, if you call the police, the police, they will say, sorry, he's your husband. Hello? You can't even ask the man why you did beat her. I mean, obviously, he owns her. She is a property. And you know what? If you beat a dog in USA, you go to jail. I remember once there was an uh, I was living in an apartment at that time uh, uh, like uh, you know I have, uh, like there is a a portion in front of my uh, place and a screen door and then the dog he slept behind the screen door I opened the door I want to go to work the dog don't want to move Mr. Bo Mr. Mr. Dog please move he don't want to move move I push the screen a little bit he don't move he will not move that's it and the only way to move him if I hurt him I don't want to hurt him so I called the police and then the police he came to him he started talking to him can your majesty please move so this guy can get out of his place the dog no no the police he said to him let us give you some bone do you want some treat and then the dog agreed to move if this dog is exist in Islamic country go and see what will happen to him so in USA, if you beat a dog, you go to jail. In, 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 in Islam, women is not oppressed. Women, you can beat them and nobody will question the man why he did beat his wife. And yet there is a misunderstanding about Islam and women. The man have four wives. This is alone is oppression. Because if you treat women and give her rights, what about you say to the women, you can have four husbands too? What if the women... You know, like they say to you, the man is, uh, excuse my language, they are like more active sexually. Well, there's women, they are very active sexually too. She can take 10, th 10, 10 husbands. Hmm? And she can beat them all. And they say to you, if a woman, you fear their rebellion. What do you fear rebellion? I mean, the woman, she did nothing, yet you beat her. If you fear their rebellion, and if they obey, you don't beat them. I mean, those articles are meant to fool us or to fool themselves. I mean, are you serious? The one who made the article? Muslim worship different God. For sure, we don't worship the same God. I mean, different God. Yeah, because Jesus, he said to us, go and kiss the black stone. And the black stone is going to witness for Allah and will have tongue and, and eyes. For sure, we, don't, we have the same God because Jesus, he said to us, I will give you little boys so they can serve you and they will not bleed. And I will make for you beautiful women. They are, their name is Hur and their bones is a transparent, which is very ugly. Misconception, Islam was spread by the sword. Absolutely, this is false. Islam did not spread by the sword. No. Absolutely not. Let us see how, you know, what, what, what the prophet said, peace be upon him. He said, I've been ordered 
to kill all mankind the muslim they say it doesn't say kill it says fight will fight to kill you 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 you're funny the word uqatil in arabic is coming from the word qatala which mean kill i've been ordered to kill all mankind until they testify there is no god but allah and their prophet and, and there is no prophet but muhammad and then and then and only then if they do salat which means after they convert they have to do the salat they have to pray as he pray and they have to pay him the money which means if you don't pay the money still they will kill you you know and then and only then their property and their blood is protected do you see the gang there is misconception that islam is spread by the sword yeah, well, not everywhere Islam is spread by the sword, absolutely. As an example, Islam can be spread in many ways. Deception, like you do in the West, because you cannot use the sword there. Your sword is, is, a, is a plastic in the West. If you try to use it, you will eat shish kebab. They will make you hummus. But this is the truth, and this is the word of your prophet. And he sent the three letters to three kings saying, convert to Islam or you are dead. You see, today is a Christmas, and I'm not going to keep you away from your family, but I wanted to share with you. And if you have somebody he claimed to be a priest, a bishop, sadly, our church is full of false teachers. Either they are false because they are idiot, ignorant, or they are false because they are really false, which means they are evil. So when a priest or a bishop or a Christian, he claim a Christian leader or pastor, whatever you call them, they give, they love titles, by the way. Those people, they love title. I'm a priest. I'm a bishop. You know, like, you know, I am no one. Jesus, the Messiah himself, he did not give himself a, a, a name like that. He washed the feet of his disciple. So say to those liars, who they are fooling your children in the churches that the God of Muhammad have nothing to do with our God. And they say to you, they are from Ishmael. I challenge anyone who claim to be Christian to show me how Muhammad is from Ishmael. I mean, who is the stupid here? You go to the church, you say to you, those are the Ishmaelists. Those are the Ishmael. They are not. The Arab, first of all, they are not even an ethnic. You see, I am an Arab and we are not an ethnic group. We are from many ethnic. Arab have nothing to do with ethnic Arab who ever live in the desert. They call him Arab. The word Arab is an Aramaic word. Arabia means desert. So if the Aramaic now, they are living in USA, they will call those who live in Las Vegas Arab. In other words, the Aramaic, they called us Arab, which is the word of the wild man who live in the desert, which means like savage. Because, you know, my grand, 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 grandfather, they used to take a shower once every 10 years. Me, myself, I take it uh, once a year. I'm, we are getting better. So, uh, this is what the word Arab mean. Arab, even the Quran, if you go to the Quran, you know, if you go to the Quran, you will see the Quran say clearly that the Arab are the desert people. All those verses are speaking about the Arab. The Arab. The Arab. I mean, it's endless. Okay. What those Arab? Who are they, those Arab? Even it says that the most hypocrite people in the world are the Arab. <laughs> Do you see the translation for the Arab? The Bedouin, people of the desert. Do you see it? Do you see it? And they are the worst in belief and they are the most hypocrites. Who is saying that? The Quran. And for sure, Muhammad was saying that because the Arab don't, want, you know, don't believe in him anyway. They know he's a fraud. So my friends, don't let the fool fool you. I mean, if a fool can fool you, how fool are you? You know what I mean? Excuse my language. I don't want to be rude. But if a fool, he can fool you. So how fool are you? Are we listening? 
because in order to be fooled by a fool you must be an extra fool the truth my friend it's all over in front of us and I'm here to share it with you and I do my best but I cannot be I cannot be your brain if you are a fool you are a fool I cannot make you smart unless you are you, you decide to use your brain God he gave us a gift God he gave you a gift it's called a brain the same he gave it to me so use it or lose it And you know the Islam. There is many proof of Islam, by the way, to be from God. I mean, I can I can show you many proofs. You know, I mean, what are you talking about? I can show you tons of proofs that Islam is from God. You see, the snow is still coming in the screen, huh? You like the snow? How we can prove that? A very in a very short way. I don't want to keep you here long. It's a Christmas day. Uh, <clears throat> How we can prove that Islam in in two seconds? That Islam is is uh, is from God. It's very easy. Two seconds will take you two seconds. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Allah, He chose His house is Mecca. He chose the Kaaba to be His house. And guess what? This house He flood with poop and sewage every year for centuries. Those are people, women with the dirty water, flooding the Kaaba. Remember in the Quran says that when God he got angry he sent the flood of Noah right this is a story was copied from the Bible so how Allah who get angry this is a sign of anger to flood somebody how he flood his house and why Allah he chose the worst location of Mecca where all the sewage will come because remember in Mecca there is no sewage actually there is uh, you know what they call it like a hole in the house like where people they dump whatever they have and then when the when the rain come which is rarely happened but it happened all this dump will go to the lowest point of the city which is the Kaaba thank you Allah for the correct the perfect location for the Kaaba so this is the house of Allah Allah chose the perfect location for it and it's flooded by sewage. Islam is over. I do not need to prove more. If this is from God, God will never, you know, even if this location is bad, Allah, he can just an order, make an order. He will make the, the, the ground go up, can't he? And instead of asking the American engineers how to fix this problem, how we can drift the, 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 the flood away from the Kaaba, spending hundreds of millions of dollars to fix this issue, Right. <clears throat> anyway, so I want to say uh, thank you for being with us uh, today. Uh, I really wish you a very happy Merry Christmas, and I hope uh, that you guys you will uh, uh, you will be good to everybody around you. And don't forget, if you have somebody old next to you, somebody need help, not only Christmas Day we do that. I mean, just just be just be uh, as God created you to be. Our existence and existence in this earth is not only, uh, you know, to live. I mean, to eat and drink, and, and this is what animals do. I mean, this is very normal. You 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 have no favor of doing that. And if you feed your kids, I mean, okay, well, uh, even animals, they feed their kids, right? So we have to be unique in somehow. We have to be unique in the way we are created. And this is what God, he gave us a unique ability. It's called the brain. And this brain should not be away from our ethic and our belief and practice. And the practice is to be good to others, to be loving and to be giving. 
So don't forget to remember those who need help in Christmas time, in your town, in your village, wherever you are, or maybe a parents, you did not call them for a while, you did not see them for long. It's not nice to be Christmas Day, even if they made you angry, even if you are upset from them for something, even if they did wrong with you. Remember, when they asked the, 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 the Lord how to pray, he put a condition there. He says, you say this, forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So a Christian person who don't want to forgive, he don't deserve forgiveness. He is no Christian yet. So forgive and live, my friend. Forgive and enjoy life. Because forgiveness will take the hate from your shoulders, will take the pain away, will make you forget about it. That's it. It's gone. It's history. Forgiveness is for your benefit. You think you might think you are forgiving the person and that is good for him, but the fact the first benefit is you getting the benefit. And this is why the Messiah, he is if we if we if we follow him, he is the best health advisor, advisor to, to follow. Because we will be free with him, free from hate, and never hate the Muslims. Don't hate the Muslims. You see, we are speaking here, we are exposing a cult. And a founder of a cult we are not speaking against muslims they are poor people they, they are victims of this cult be good be holy as your father that is the teaching of our lord so i want to say thank you for being here i hope i did not take much of your time may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false and thank you for those who support us god bless take care merry christmas